What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next game plan video. Uh, this war I think is going to be a fun one. Uh, Endo Trinity 3. Um, 97 wins, so not just a huge war win clan, but very upgraded bases. Uh, a lot of lava walls, higher level heroes than we usually run into, so it's going to be fun I think. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is Town Hall 10, number 1. Uh, this is an interesting base to me because... I think it would be extremely tough to go La Luna in this base just because of the same thing that uh, happened in the last cleanup video. If you send, you know, if, even if you come in here with the go La Luna, uh, the golem part of the attack, you know, you got perfect spot here for heroes going up the middle, golem going left and right, uh, take the queen out, take out two air defenses, uh, possibly that expo, but, you know, several towers in the process are going to go down. Obviously, the CC troops are going to come out. You're going to have a nice lightning for them help take them out, and then you send your Lava Hounds in, there's such separation uh, between all this work your balloons have to do. Now, you could rage out here and hopefully get them in there quicker, but your Lava Hounds, I'm assuming, you know, air traps are right here in these areas close to the air defenses. Um, I think your Lava Hounds are going to go down before your balloons have time to come in there and sort of rescue them and take out these Inferno Towers. Uh, I don't think your kill squad's going to get to. So I think that's a pretty tough go La Luna attack. So I was looking at this and saying, well, it's probably just a two-star base. But I think I would try a Goho on this. Uh, crazy enough, I'd probably bring three Golems. You know, one up the middle, one that way, one that way. A good amount of Wizards, you know, just spreading those out, letting them follow those uh, Golems around. And, uh, you know, your heroes up the core. Again, Lightning for that. And bring a, a Rage. Uh two freezes, and maybe a heal. Uh, when the when the kill squad got to basically this point, uh, these were all dead out here, I would send my hogs in, because this should all be cleared out from any type of traps or anything. I would drop a nice rage for them right there. I would freeze, like right there. Uh, yeah, I'd freeze right there, and on that inferno tower, and they would clear this core out very quickly. Then I'd have one heal for them wherever they went. You know, out here, run into a bomb or something, wherever they needed to go. Uh, Tesla's pop out here, you know, drop a, drop a hit, the remaining heal for them. Just get them out of that area. I think you have a good chance of a three star there. Maybe two freezes is not the way to go. Maybe with a rage, or if you're going to do the, the two freezes, don't bring a rage. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with the rages and, or the freezes and stuff. But uh, I think if you rage that core, it goes down pretty quick to, uh, you know, 15, 16 hogs, something like that. Uh, and your kill squad should do a pretty good job of handling this out here uh, thing. And so all you've got is this back part, and maybe even if you have room, a few back end loons uh, just to take out some of these archer towers or something. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like that's the best bet on this one. Uh, we'll see if it stays this way. We'll see what our guys decide to do on it. Uh, the next one is our Town Hall 9. Let's look at number 7. <coughs> Oh, this was a pretty cool base. Uh, I think it could be Surgical Hogged or La Loon. Uh, the air defenses are relatively exposed. You know, you could come in here with one uh, Golem, you know, Wall Breaker this, nice jump spell uh, right here, take out this air defense, take the Queen out, the CC troops with the Lightning, then just start your, you know, your La Loon attack. Uh, coming in from different angles with your lava hounds like this, basically targeted balloons all the way around. Uh, your rage is where you need them, you know, standard, uh, I guess, cold blooded Laloon attack. Uh, but I think you also could come in. I think there's probably a double bomb set right here. Uh, there could be one here, but that'd be a pretty bad spot for us. So I really don't think so. I think they're probably the other two are split up. This is a, a double and two singles. Probably one here. And maybe like one here or one here or somewhere like that. Uh, but I would sort of do the same thing. I'd come in with my golem right here, my kill squad, take the queen out. Uh, the lure on this one, I probably would send, probably just send, you know, a giant to tank and, a, a, you know, some hogs right there or something. That's going to get your lure pretty easy. Uh, bring them over here, you know, to this area. <coughs> Excuse me. And then come in, like I said, with the golem. Your kill squad here, drop, you know, your wizard to create the funnel. 
uh, to where everything goes in, takes the queen out, and then just surgical hog this thing. Uh, you know, like a this could probably be, be dead from your kill squad, but like a giant right here would soak up those two. You know, a few hogs, few hogs, nice heal spell like right there. Uh, giant, I wouldn't even put a giant out here anymore, just a few extra hogs, uh, a few like that. Uh, I'd probably drop another giant right in this area and come in with the rest of the hogs here on this side. Nice heal spell right there. And then you've got one more for wherever you need it. Uh, probably, if, if not where Tesla's pop, really. If Tesla's pop here, I'd go ahead and drop it there. If Tesla's are up in this area, your kill squad might take care of it. Who knows? But uh, pretty easy surgical hog, in my opinion, and pretty easy Laloon. Uh, so we'll see how someone decides it. I think that'll be one we'll definitely probably show in the replay to see how someone... Uh, Someone did that. And the last one we're going to look at is Town Hall 8, number 28. Um, this, to me, is a no-brainer surgical. I mean, this is a picture-perfect Town Hall 8 surgical hog attack. Uh, I would probably drop a giant and a few hogs, you know, like right here. Take that out. Get your CC lure. Uh, bring them over to this corner. Nice and easy. Take them out wherever you want to. Which is if you want... Uh, you know, bunch them up, however you want to do it. Nice king swap right here. Uh, send the king in, you know, use his ability while he's tanking uh, surgical hogs for these. You know, because he's going to be tanking. He's not going to be pulling triple duty, basically. Kill, doing a king swap, tanking for this for your surgical hogs. Uh, then just come in from all, you know, you know guys how to do it. There's really not going to be any need for a heal here. Uh, probably like somewhere like this, there's going to be a Tesla. You're going to need to drop a heal, but you only need one heal for this core. Uh, there could be Teslas in the core, but one should do it. So wherever else you need it on the outside, go ahead and drop it. But probably uh, you'll only end up needing two heal spells on this on this base because you can just completely surround it, uh, coming from every angle. And then once you get into that core, uh, everything's basically going to be standing in the hill. And there's not much damage. you got three wizard towers. Could be a couple Teslas or one Tesla more likely. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty simple, so hopefully someone surgical hogs that one. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you're looking forward to the recap to see how some uh, of the members approach these bases, if it's the same as I would have or if it's something different. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.